Wreck, what's good, man? Salute, JT. I'm so, so good. Salute, man. I so, do. basically, let's get right into it. Sh mm -hmm. We got the Tupac movie coming out. Of course, we're getting a lot of Tupac information around this time. Just like when the Biggie movie came out a long time ago. You started getting all this Biggie information, you know. Now, Suge Knight came out. And now, he wants to talk about 20 years later how Tupac was really murdered, you know. Mm -hmm. So, he... In an alpha David by his lawyer, Thaddeus Culpepper, okay? He wrote that this that Suge Knight knew for years that Reggie Wright Jr., who was like the head of security for Death Row, mm -hmm. and his ex-wife, Saritha, were behind the murder of Tupac in an attempt murder of Suge Knight. So he's saying that those bullets were all meant for him, and Tupac got the bullets. He got the, Damn. He got the death, right? Um, now, this was all revealed a long time ago by this guy, uh, Russell Poole. Remember the detective that really took on the case? Even when he left being a detective for L uh, LAPD, he still mm. continued to, like, investigate this case. And he kind of connected these dots. This is one of his theories. So Suge Knight could have just gone with a theory because Suge Knight also has a documentary coming out called Tupac Assassination, Assassination Battle for Compton. So this is really to promote a documentary. I, I don't think there's any truth wow. to this. Uh, his ex-wife even spoke Sarita. I th I'm sure you saw that. She denied. Yes, these I saw claims. that on TMZ. Yeah, she denied these claims. She said, you know, he's crazy. I don't know what he's talking about. Uh, I already own Death Row. I was married to the guy. I already own half everything he had. You know, that made sense. You know, why would she have to kill yeah. him? You know, or like she could have just divorced him at the time, right? Facts. Yeah. So it's fair to say that Suge Knight is snitching to get his documentary hot? He's snitching to get his documentary hot. For what reason, I have no idea. Because, like, he's basically probably, they're not letting this guy out of jail. That's pretty obvious. Mm -hmm. And this guy's a gangster, right? But, mm -hmm. you know, he's talking about this kind of shit all of a sudden. You know, it's like. Yeah, kind of spooky right pe now. Pe people get real spooky like, you know, they talk a good game when they're free. And then once they go to jail after a few years, they realize, you know, you know, people don't really fuck yeah, with you. coming home. Yeah, well, people don't fuck with you when you go to jail, too. You know, so, like, you feel isolated. And then you're, like, survival kicks in where, you know, like, fuck it. I got to survive. And then, you know, now you got to go live in Costa Rica for the rest of your life when you get out of jail. You know what they say about snitch? You know what the acronym is, right? What? Sorry, nigga. I'm trying to come home. Oh, shit. <laughs> that's a good one. Yeah. You should make a t-shirt like that, right? Nah, that, that's that's something that's already going, going oh, okay. around. But yeah, we could get some shirts. But, you know, that's so, what that allegedly stands for, the acronym of snitch. I, Sorry, nigga. I'm trying <laughs> to come home. Now, another question I have is mm -hmm. that what was Tupac doing in the car that night when Wendy Day told us she was trying to get at he was he thought Tupac thought he was done with his death row contract Suge mm -hmm. Knight was trying to hold him into it he wasn't really fucking with Suge Knight or Snoop Dogg around that time mm -hmm. and yet he got in the car with Suge that night for some reason but you know with Tupac and Suge they are bonded together by paperwork you understand what I'm saying mm -hmm. so you know, it's one thing to say, oh, I don't fuck with this person. When you bonded by paperwork and y'all got to promote something, Tupac was still dropping albums. That's true. And then Suge Knight was still the CEO of Death Row Records at the time. Yeah. So they got to make it look good. Because if you look in the car, the picture when Pac was still alive, you know, inside the Beamer, you could look at each other's faces, you know, at, at both of their faces and tell they wasn't fucking with each other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely Pac. You know what I'm saying? But sometimes you got to do yeah. certain business with people before you can finalize things because there's paperwork involved and mm -hmm. lawyers got to, you know, go back and forth. So, you know, that's my assumption. I have a question. I have a Tupac question for you. Still. I'm curious what you think about something. You know how Snoop's kind of like being the big Tupac advocate now, you know, at the like the because he was inducted to the Hall of Fame and Snoop posted the whole thing and everything. Mm -hmm. But Tupac didn't fuck with Snoop before then, right? Like he kind of was. Well, dumb. he did. But then later on. See, it, it, it's it's strange because, you know, we got Wendy Day, who was close to Tupac, you yeah. know what I'm saying, while he was alive and, 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 and 
during his last days mm -hmm. in jail. She was going to see him and everything. Yeah. So with Snoop, you know, Snoop tell a story like you would think they never had a falling out, but right. we know different. Right. And, and and plus Tupac put it out there right. that Snoop was on sucker time or however he was putting it. Right. But that was because of you know because of loyalty to death row. That's true. You know what I'm saying? So. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Snoop That's what it was. Snoop was already leaving, and he was like, "Yo, okay, yeah, exactly. I get it." Okay, guys. Well, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. If you're watching this on mobile, come out, hit the subscribe button on Jordan Tower and MREC TV, MREC TV Store. Dot com, JordanTowerStore.com. Appreciate yes, you guys, and we'll check you on the Appreciate next you. video. Salute.